Thanks to the organizing committee for allowing me to present the results from two studies. Of which the first was published online 2018 in Matthew's Journal of Neurology. Patients with diagnosis of malignant cancer, first of the TIA stroke, usually appear to have lower annual risk of stroke myocardial infarction events compared to patients without cancer diagnosis, a 25 year follow up hospital based observation study. The study had included 549 patients hospitalized in 1986 at the University Hospital in Linköping who had been retrospectively followed up until February 2011. The main purposes of the first study were to determine whether patients admitted due to TIA stroke with malignant cancer, ICD-10, C00 to C97, except basal cell carcinoma, diagnosed either before and or after emission, had higher or lower risk of recurrent stroke, myocardial infarction annually compared to patients without cancer. In Total men had more cancers of the emission than women did. 67 of 288 men had 78 cancers, and 69 of 261 women had 72 cancers. Fatal cancer occurred in 26 men versus 13 women. P equals 0 0.013. Lung cancer caused death in six men versus none in women. The annual risk of stroke was high in women with breast cancer. The annual risk of stroke was higher in women with head and neck cancers, digestive system cancers, compared to men uh, but almost female risk of stroke occurred in the context of multiple cancers. Uh, men with post malignant cancer had an increased annual risk of stroke myocardial infarction, non fatal and fatal, compared to men with diagnosis of cancer first after emission. But for women, these differences existed mainly for fatal recurrent stroke and non fatal and fatal myocardial infarction. Comparing these here, and here. The cumulative risk of events of stroke myocardial infarction per 100 patient years was higher for non-cancer patients. Event of recurrent stroke occurred statistically more frequently among men who did not have cancer, P equal zero, zero, Two five as fatal stroke P equal zero zero four in women fatal myocardial infarction P equal zero point zero one six. Here we can compare these groups. Uh, there were no statistically significant differences in survival between cancer and non-cancer patients in men and women respectively, according to the Kepler-Meyer method and log rank test. Uh, conclusions. Type of cancer is of great importance regarding the cause of death due to cancer, but also that cancer per se 
or its treatment seems to influence the annual risk of stroke myocardial infarction compared to non-cancer patients. These findings support the need for further studies in order to determine the causes of these differences. Uh, the second study was published online 2019 in Matthews Journal of Neurology. Long-term prognosis related to facing total cholesterol and triglyceride levels of the TIE stroke. <laughs> the purpose of the second study was to identify statistically significant differences in the risk of recurrent stroke, myocardial infarction or mortality in relation to three levels of fasting total cholesterol and in relation to three levels of fasting triglycerides of measured lipid values of the hospitalization due to TIA stroke. Uh, this study included 124 men and 96 women. During the 25-year follow-up observation time, 68 men had 110 strokes, 40 men had 73 myocardial infarctions, 44 women had 62 strokes, and 28 women had 44 myocardial infarctions. Uh, among men, there was almost a linear correlation between increasing total cholesterol levels uh, less than 5 millimol per liter, range 5 to 6.4 millimol per liter and above, and increasing risk of myocardial infarction during life, 26%, 43%, and 62%. P equals 0 0.014. And cardiovascular death, uh, uh, not index stroke, 44%, 59%, and 83%, P equals 0 0.002, compared to women who had a U-shaped correlation to the risk of myocardial infarction during life, 39%, 29%, and 42%, non-significant, as cardiovascular death, 69%, 50%, and 61%, non-significant. Men had an inverse correlation between total cholesterol levels and death due to cancer. 26%, 13%, 2%, P equals 0 0.008. Uh, there were no statistically significant differences between the subclasses of triglyceride levels, less than 1.6 millimol per liter, range 1.6 to 2.2 millimol per liter and above, and different outcomes. But the risk of cardiovascular death, not index stroke, relative to the three triglyceride levels was higher in men. Uh, men and women with malignant cancer had a lower annual risk of myocardial infarction compared to men, respectively women, without cancer in the different subclasses of total cholesterol levels, except in men for myocardial infarction with a total cholesterol level less than 5 millimol per liter. Men with a total cholesterol level above 6.4 millimol per liter with malignant cancer had a higher annual risk of stroke. Women total cholesterol level above 5 millimol per liter compared to corresponding patients without cancer.
uh, men with malignant cancer had a low annual risk of myocardial infarction and stroke in the different subclasses of triglyceride levels compared to men without cancer. Can you see here, comparing these groups here. In women with malignant cancer, there was a lower annual risk of having myocardial infarction compared to women without cancer in the different subclasses of triglyceride levels, but for stroke only triglyceride level higher than 2.2 millimol per liter. Uh, no significant differences in survival between the total cholesterol subgroups were observed among men and women according to Kaplan-Meier analysis and log rank test. But pairwise between sexes, five to six millimol per liter. The cumulative risk of survival was 11.1% versus 26.2%. Uh, P equals 0 0.038. Oh. Uh, outcomes over the long term were significantly different among included subgroups. Women tried glyceride less than 1.6 millimol per liter versus triglyceride more than 2.2 millimol per liter. 24.5 versus 12.5, P equal 0.017. And pairwise between sexes, triglyceride less than 1.6 mol per liter. Here, 7.5 and 24.5. The classification of patients into four groups supports that triglycerides about 2.2 millimol per liter is a risk factor for myocardial infarction during life in both sexes as total cholesterol level about 6.4 millimol per liter but at a lower level for women. Here we can see the figures are almost the same for these three groups. The risk of cardiovascular death was very high for men in the second group here. But the cardiovascular risk of death was almost similar in women for the four groups. Uh, best survival had women who belong to the first group low total cholesterol and low uh, triglyceride level. There were in men or women no statistically significant differences of mean age of death between different total cholesterol levels. but between different triglyceride levels according to ANOVA tests. This is for men. And here is similar results for women in those with high triglyceride level. Uh, the, these patients were thus younger when they died compared with the others.
These studies had shown that predictors for of stroke for patients with TIA ischemic stroke uh, when 19 variables have been consigned to uh, three cases of able analysis and 103 events. According to Cox regression analysis, predictors of stroke were age, sex, diagnosis, history of diabetes, fasting, blood glucose above 6 millimol per liter, and, and young pectoris. Uh, predictors of myocardial infarction, uh, 202 cases available in analysis, 60 events, where systolic blood pressure, angina pectoris, and total cholesterol level above 6.4 millimol per liter. Uh, predictors of death to one or two cases available in analysis, 169 events were age, sex, uh, history of diabetes, facing blood glucose above 6 millimol per liter, hypertension, treatment with antihypertensive drugs, TIA, severity of stroke, previous myocardial infarction, triglycerides above 2.2 millimol per liter, and first line treatment versus untreated anticoagulants and antiplatelet therapy. The lipid lowering treatment was given more frequently during the observation time. Uh, after 12 years of observation time, 218 men had died, 70 men remained of warm, 25 had been treated with lipid lowering treatments for at least one year. The corresponding figures in women were 202, 59, and 18 respectively. Including all patients in the, this study, there was some difference in benefit for treatment after 12 years observation time regarding the end risk of myocardial infarction. Men untreated 7.2, treated 4. Women untreated 4, uh, untreated 4, treated 0 0.9. Uh, conclusions. Total cholesterol and triglyceride levels measured after emission affect men and women differently regarding the risk for myocardial infarction, cardiovascular death, and survival. These differences in outcome between the sexes might support the fact that the indication for lipid lowering treatment is partly dependent on six. This study supports the assumption that men with a total cholesterol in the range of 5 to 6.4 millimol per liter would have great benefit from lipid lowering treatment during long term observation time compared to women. The treatment goal for men should therefore be total cholesterol less than 5 millimol per liter, but in men with a history of malignant cancer, total cholesterol ranged 5 to 6 millimol due to findings of increased LR risk of myocardial infarction events at a lower total cholesterol level. The total cholesterol range of 5 to 6 millimol per liter seems to be the best for most women due to the U-shaped risk in women regarding the risk of myocardial infarction and cardiovascular death relative to the total cholesterol level. Uh, fasting triglyceride 
level higher than 2.2 millimole per liter is an important risk factor for cardiovascular disease, death in both sexes, and require lifestyle changes, good eating habits, exercise, and investigation of other causes before lipid lowering treatment could be recommended. Uh, thank you for your attention.